Hello and welcome, I'm the CNC Repairman, and in this video I'm going to show you how to reset the spindle orientation on a Haas newer mill. You're going to want to do this anytime you do anything with the spindle belts, the spindle encoders or pulley belts, or remove the spindle or gearbox. If you're having random orientation issues, I would recommend looking at the spindle belts and pulleys, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to reset the orientation. Let's go ahead and run the spindle in this machine. I'm just gonna stop it, and now I'm gonna press spindle orientate. I can just see that it's off. It normally should be parallel with Y and a little bit of an angle. So to start with, we're gonna do a few things in the control to make it easier to reset the orientation. The first thing we're gonna do is go to setting seven, the parameter lock, and turn that to off. Then we're gonna put it in a service mode by going to the alarms page and typing in the word D-E-B-U-G, debug. This will put it in a service mode. Now press the position page and then go F2 to take you over to the variables, tab over to variables, press enter and raw data. Now we can see on the screen the spindle position. At this point, you wanna reach inside the machine and turn the spindle dogs by hand while looking at the screen and turn them until the number gets to zero. When the number reaches zero, stop the spindle and then go in a positive number direction until you get to about the position just a little bit off from Y where the orientation needs to be. This is our rough orientation set. Now we're gonna put the machine in a tool change recovery mode. I push the recovery button and I pushed tool changer restore. Now from here, I need to put it in a manual mode so that I can run the tool changer by hand. So I'll press manual and now I can operate the controls manually. So I'm gonna push the ATC forward button until the arm comes around and engages with the spindle. The spindle needs to be at the home position while this is done or the double arm will run into it. So I'm pressing ATC forward and the double arm is going towards the spindle. I don't wanna to go too far because then the dogs will hit. I'm gonna use a little scale like this just to reach in here and verify the position of the spindle dogs. So I'll go ahead and hit forward some more, but I don't want the double arm to run into the dogs. And I'm gonna to continue to hit forward until looking at the outputs, I see where it says arm at clamp, unclamp. You don't wanna to go too much further. And now, you can look inside the machine and verify that there's equal space on either side of the dog. And that your scale fits easily on both sides. Just the machinist scale is just the right feeler gauged check the gap on both sides. So now I'll close the door and we're gonna go back to our service page in the position display where it shows the spindle position. And right now the spindle position is 694. So I'm gonna press an e-stop. I'm gonna to go to parameter 257. This is the spindle orientation offset parameter and I'm gonna type in that number, 694 and press enter. Now I'll pull e-stop out, clear the e-stop alarm Go back to the recovery page, into the tool change recovery, into a manual recovery, and I'm gonna run the ATC reverse button to run the double arm back to its home position. This button takes many, many pushes because just one push is one little bump on the motor. So continue to run this button, pushing it many times until the degrees reach zero on the screen or you can watch the inputs and the input will say arm at stop, arm at origin. That's where you wanna be when you complete the tool change recovery. And then follow the directions on the screen where it says press C to continue and E to exit. Now the spindle orientation is set, but we wanna verify that it is set. So I'll normally just press clockwise and I'll run the spindle in MDI and stop. You can run it again. Then we're gonna, from MDI, press the spindle orientate button. And that does look correct. An easy way to verify is to put a little Sharpie mark on the dog and on the spindle nose and then when you run the spindle and you hit forward, you can double check that it does orientate to the correct spot. After the orientation has been set, you're going to need to exit the service mode and turn the parameter back on for the parameter lock. To exit the service mode, press the alarms page and type in the word debug again and press enter. Now go back to the settings and turn their parameter lock setting seven back to on. Now the parameter is set and the machine is ready to run again.
Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got your machine fixed. Please check out the rest of our YouTube videos and also our parts store, CNC replacement parts, for any parts for your machine or tools to keep it running.